I'm Rachel Hughes. I'm the Strategic Engagement Team Leader at the Scottish Procurement Directorate in the Scottish Government. I have over 10 years of public procurement experience, ranging from buying roles, contract management, and now in engagement and communications. I'm delighted to join you today to talk about some Scottish Government upcoming tender opportunities, as well as how you can engage with public procurement in Scotland. The slides contain quite a number of links, uh, which we're happy to make available. So please come and speak to us at the stand and we can forward these on to you. So just a quick bit of context from our annual procurement report. This is just to show the important contribution that SMEs and third sector organisations make to our public procurement landscape in Scotland. Public procurement is a source of significant expenditure within the Scottish economy, currently around £16 billion. Procurement projects vary hugely in Scotland, from large infrastructure developments such as roads and bridges, right the way through to critical public services. It's even varied from my own experience of being involved in projects anywhere from buying bull farm equipment to election systems and software. And for every pound spent with suppliers in Scotland, 55 pence went to an SME, and Scotland-based SMEs received 4.2 billion of that spend. Just over 18,000 suppliers were awarded contracts through Public Contract Scotland, or PCS, of which 78% of these were SMEs and 74% of these were Scottish-based SMEs. SMEs, third sector organisations and micro-businesses are critical to the social, economic and environmental health of Scotland, as I hope is demonstrated through the figures that I just laid out. So I'll place a particular emphasis today on all the guidance and resources that are available to ensure that we continue taking steps to reduce and remove barriers to public sector procurement. Firstly, at the end of April, we published our very first SME and third sector procurement action plan. This action plan highlights our long-standing commitment of engaging with and listening to industry feedback in order to try and reduce these barriers. We want to promote innovation and enable participation in public procurement. This plan presents the steps we will take to increase and improve opportunities for SMEs and third sector organisations within the procurement process. So you might be thinking, well, that's all well and good and great to see the overall figures there, but how do you then start to find these bidding opportunities? There are a number of routes available, but the most important action you can take is signing up to Public Contract Scotland. However, just as important as signing up to Public Contract Scotland is filling in the Supplier Finder profile. This provides buyers with details regarding the services and commodities which potential bidders can provide. This enables us as buyers to identify them quickly as potential bidders for relevant processes, including quick quotes. If you don't opt in for this functionality, you will not come up in supplier searches. So it's really important to have this switched on within PCS. It is also really important to keep your profile up to date and make sure you use an email address which will be available for the long term. PCS also lists current and tender opportunities, including lower value contract and innovation opportunities. It also includes search functionality for contract award notices. This can allow you to see who the public sector are already contracted with. This can help organisations to assess and seek opportunities in the supply chain as a subcontractor. The UK government also has a separate portal called Find a Tender, which can also provide access to opportunities in Scotland, so it's certainly worth looking at both. There are also dynamic purchasing systems, which are an electronic system of pre-qualified suppliers. Supplier organisations can join these arrangements at any time through their life cycle, and these are not as rigid as other contract arrangements. So this leads on to another route to market in framework opportunities. These exist right across the different sectors within Scotland. Our contract registers can help you prepare to bid for the opportunities or to approach other suppliers in the supply chain to become a subcontractor. Here is a list of the main centres of expertise which hold and run frameworks. And I'm sure you will hear more about this throughout today with speakers from Excel, Scotland Excel and the NHS. 
Many frameworks often have subcontracting opportunities. For example, I just want to highlight in our newly published civil engineering framework, main contractors have been strongly encouraged to use PCS to put any subcontracting opportunities on the system. You can always get in touch with these main contractors directly to find out more, and we'll have more information on this at our stand today. So far, we have talked through where to find bidding opportunities, but now where is the training and guidance to assist when applying for these? The Scottish Government provides a significant amount of guidance, which can be freely accessed by any current or potential supplier. As a direct result of feedback from business and the third sector, we publish new guidance on how to engage, find opportunities and bid successfully. This is our one-stop shop guidance, which you can see on the top left. This guidance was developed with business and includes sources of support, hints and tips and frequently asked questions. The supplier journey, which hosts the one-stop shop guidance, takes you through the entire procurement process with guidance along each step of the way. And we couldn't also not mention the fantastic support events and training that are run by the Supplier Development Programme. We strongly advise you to take advantage of what is on offer today and beyond. I don't have time to go through everything in detail, but I do hope this shows the amount of resource and guidance that is available to access freely. There are several ways to engage with public sector buyers, and many sectors also hold their own events. So it's always good to check on their websites too, and many of them are, have also got stands here today. These regional Meet the Buyer events provide an excellent opportunity for local businesses and the public sector to come together. For all of us, they help to break down perceived barriers, increase understanding, and in turn work together to achieve the common goal for delivering for Scotland. So to go through one upcoming tender opportunity from the Scottish Government in a bit more detail, uh, we have literally just published a contract notice for the Civil Engineering Dynamic Purchasing System. This is to introduce an agile procurement vehicle for civil engineering contracts, and this can be anywhere from below £100,000 right up to £5 million. This, there's going to be a real focus on micro and small medium enterprises due to the value of these contracts. So just to run through quickly the timeline of support that is on offer to help applying for this opportunity. As I said, on the 4th of September, the contract notice was published. On the 19th of September, hosted by the Supplier Development Programme, there will be an online supplier engagement event, which will explain the background and all the documentation needed to apply for this. And then a week later, on the 26th of September, the Supplier Development Programme will also hold another online webinar to go through PCS Tender and how to use that system when applying for this. On the 4th of October, the initial applicant's responses will be due, but as this is a dynamic purchasing system, that does not mean the opportunity is closed. You can still apply at any time for this. We have gone through quite a lot of sources of information there, but we do have a short two-page reference guide in an easy to access flyer format which will be published in the coming weeks so please look out on the website for this. Yesterday uh, we also published our supplier survey. We are encouraging all suppliers to take part as the feedback you provide will be invaluable in helping us to shape future thinking on the policy and delivery of public procurement in Scotland. We have the QR code to access so again please come by the stand to get a copy of this. We also have a pipeline of opportunities for Scottish Government contracts and we'd be happy to go through this with you today. As for getting in touch with us, please sign up to our blog. It is useful for both buyers and suppliers and it is our main source of putting out information. And please continue to engage with us through our socials. Thank you very much to the Supplier Development Programme for having us along today and please come and visit our stand. We're just right at the front entrance and I do hope you have an enjoyable and really worthwhile day today. Thank you.